World Cup mania is reaching fever pitch. So for a bit of football action to fulfil all your goal scoring fantasies, the answer is obvious. FIFA World Cup? Yeah, but if you can't get that game for some reason, here's another one vying for your attention, pure football. Instead of a team of 11 out in the pitch in front of adoring fans, if pure football focuses on five-a-side football in weird fantasy arenas where no one is there to watch you play. There are 17 international sides to choose from, but Australia is not one of them, and that's the first of many problems, isn't it, Badge? Yeah, the game's a weird meld of FIFA Street and Mario Strikers. It uses real football players, but also has super moves in there to add an arcade-style thrill. You can create your own custom players or edit together your own team and there's heaps of arenas to unlock as you progress. The arenas do have some pretty cool backgrounds but it's so strange not having any commentary or crowd. It just makes the experience really, well, boring. Yeah, I think the game tries to compensate by throwing lots of big 3D exploding words in your face every time you score or there's a penalty. Speaking of penalties, I think there's one thing that's quite clear here, and that's that the game isn't at all realistic. You can concede a penalty anywhere on the pitch if you've committed one too many bad tackles in a row, so there's actually no free kicks in the game. Being five-a-side football, it's not possible to be offside, so you have to unlearn some of the regular rules of football. And it was weird getting used to the fact that it's played in one big chunk, you know, there's, there's no halves. In fact, because of the different match scenarios, some games won't actually finish until one side scores a certain number of goals, so sometimes there's no clock whatsoever. It's good to see that they've tried to break the football formula to spice things up, you know, but there's bigger problems that overshadow all of this. That's right. The controls are awful, aren't they, Hex? This is one of those games where you have that dreaded delay from when you push a button to actually having something happen on screen, and it means you have to anticipate the simple stuff. Something like passing requires thought and planning. The control of your players is also a bit clunky. They just seem to have a life of their own sometimes, and I felt like I was constantly fighting against the animations just to get them to move in a certain direction. You just can't seem to react quick enough. The goalkeeper's letting goals way too easily as well. It's kind of like they're thinking about their lunch and they just let the ball go through. <laughs> Every time you go for a shot or header on goal, there's a power meter that you need to stop in a sweet spot for maximum power and accuracy. Hit the green zone and you'll be on target, but hit the small white zone and the ball will go in almost every time. Almost. It works in reverse when you're defending a corner. Now that sweet spot in the white zone and you'll stop the AI from scoring. It's not a bad system, but it's hardly a replacement for the skill you need to use in a game of FIFA. The AI in general is pretty weak. They move quite erratically and back off your players too much, especially down the wing, making it easier to get a cross in and score. And you know, Badge, between the clunky controls and the simplistic AI, pure football struggles to put together a satisfying game. I agree, and the campaign isn't that compelling to stick with either. You have to win a variety of challenges, such as scoring three goals first or coming back from one goal down, but every match still feels like it plays out the same way. There just isn't that depth or variety that we normally see in a good football game. You know, I did like the constant rewards of unlocking new players to transfer to your side. I mean, who'd say no to having Beckham on your team? But other than the cartoon likeness, they all seem to perform pretty much the same out on the pitch. Mm. You know what, Hex? I never want to play this game again. Ever. Agreed. Pure football is pure rubbish. In fact, I'm going to give it three out of ten rubber chickens, and they're only for the flashy 3D words that popped up on the screen.